sucks when people are busy, it sucks when people have lives, they're like, um, uh, don't you work for me, don't you work for my Instagram page, like, what's, like, what happened there, like, uh, duh. <laughs> It's your girl Trista here and today we're going to be doing one of my favorite videos that I am probably ever have posted ever! As you guys know, I love challenges and I love Instagram challenges and I just love picture challenges and I feel like I just made one up. This video was going a whole different route. I was super inspired by this girl. Her name is Ashley. She Her channel goes by the name of Best Dressed. I just found her on YouTube. She's freaking awesome. You guys should definitely go subscribe to her. I'll leave her link down below. She has one video. It's called How I Take Instagram Pics By Myself. So I was watching her video and I was just like, oh my god, I could do that. That seems so easy. So I started filming the video exactly like Ashley trying to show you guys tips on how to take pictures by yourself because I was like oh that's easy I wanted to show you guys more tips that I had since I was actually like kind of following her video but now we're gonna make this a challenge on this channel so as I was filming this video it dawned on me that this is freaking hard taking pictures by yourself a freaking concept like you guys know I have asked my little sister my mom Everyone that I can possibly find my best friends to take pictures of me, especially when I'm copying celebrities or just in general on Instagram. Like, I'm always asking people to take pictures of me. I even asked, like, literally this week if there's any photographers in my area to take pictures of me because I never think once, like, oh, well, let me just take a picture of myself. So I thought this would be a really, really fun challenge and actually a very difficult challenge because who knew? Taking professional pictures of yourself by yourself is so hard. So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys how I took professional Instagram pics by myself. So I'm going to set up this video in three categories. Category 1 is taking a picture outside. Category 2 is taking a picture inside. And category 3 is taking a picture in a public place. So I'm going to be doing this video vlog style and each place I do it at, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a couple of tips just in case you guys want to try it yourself. So let's get into this video. I'm so pumped. I'm so excited. It took me like all day thinking about a video and I think I finally got it. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started on the first picture. Okay, after multiple SD card changes and stuff like that, I'm just gonna be taking this and this camera. Oh, and the tripod, okay. Let's go! So this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing these boots from Nasty Gal. Super cute. And then this striped dress from Nasty Gal as well. Yeah, so we're gonna wear this and see how many cool pictures we take with it. It's so hard to like get the right like angles and shade. I feel like people are like watching me from across. But who cares, right? Okay, so I found this place. It's just like a really cool background, like little like brick. I don't know what. I'll, I'll find the words later. But it's kind of a lot of my vibe. And I'm trying to get my feet in the pic. But we'll see where I can set up the camera. There's like this little ledge here. So I'm going to set up the camera right now and see what I come up with. I'm doing is I set up the camera right here and I'm putting it on record and I put it to like a slower shutter frame and I'll show you guys in a little bit how I did it but yeah I'm just like literally just posing like it's a little embarrassing but I'm gonna try to like get a cool like little face shot here so basically I just press record and I'm posing and moving around in different angles um, this is a headshot which is really really easy but in the next few shots I'm, you're gonna be seeing me trying to get my full outfit which was kind of hard, so um, I recommend getting a small tripod whenever you're going out and trying to get outfit looks. Okay, I'm excited. I think I found my spot. I found this graffitied little wall art. Really, I like photos that are like vertical, so I put my camcorder on the side and then like I, I made sure like it was holding it still, like with my little tripod. And I think I've got some really, really cool pics, so now I'm gonna try using my phone I'm gonna use the same method. I'm gonna use the record button instead of the instead of the burst. I'm gonna use I'm gonna try both and see which one's better and I'll tell you guys which one's better and I'll show you guys the pics. 
walk past, I press rewind. See that ass one more time. And I got this soda. Remy boys that know Fast money don't show. Okay, so I changed my outfit to this basic tee. It's like a tank that all these. Instagram thotties wear. It's, it's just like a basic outfit, like a basic tee and then like some striped shorts and then I'm wearing some Air Maxes. Love these things. They're my favorite. I need to buy some more. And so yeah, I'm going to wear this outfit. I'm going to a public place and I chose a coffee shop because I feel like I just wanted to be a basic Instagram hoe today and I just felt like going to a coffee shop, holding my coffee. And I also really do need coffee right now. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm also going to bring a jacket because I feel like just to mix up the outfit and especially if you want to reuse Instagram pics like just so it doesn't show that I took all these pics like the same day. Yeah. And we're going to try to discreetly take an Instagram picture by myself and it's going to be bomb. Yeah! <laughs> um, since I took a picture of my full body, now I'm going to take a picture of kind of a good close up with a drink showing that I'm like... I go out and I have fun with friends, even though I'm friendless today. Okay, so I'm here at this public place and it's making me shy. So, so my tip is just press record and pretend nothing's happening. Okay, so I got a cool little pic of me looking like I'm sitting with a friend. I keep on saying I don't have friends, but I swear to God I do. Look at this face, come on. Of course I have friends. Only because this lighting is like insanely great and I'm like, oh wow. Notice how I changed into this jacket to make it look like, oh, she has a different outfit. <laughs> That's what I was planning on doing. So this is me trying to get a shot outside, but I actually failed. And these are the pictures I ended up with. I took them on my phone, which is probably the best tip I have for you guys if you're doing it in a public place. Alright, so now we're going to be taking a picture inside. It's already a day later. I'm going to be wearing this yellow Just Love Me shirt. I got these pants from Target. Can you believe that? Like, beautiful. So cool. Style. They feel good. They sound funny, but they're really cool. They're only 20 bucks. And then I'm wearing my Fila shoes. So, some tips I have for taking a picture at home is obviously lighting. Lighting is everything. Thankfully, I have the pretty big windows that are like really, really awesome. So, my whole apartment is pretty lit. <laughs> Did I just say that? What you can do, which is like probably the best since you're taking a picture inside, is actually set up a tripod. If you have a tripod, if you don't have a tripod, all good, don't worry, you don't need one. You can set it up on basically anything. I've set it up, I've set up my camera on top of my desk, drawers, my nightstand, basically anything that you guys you think you'll get a picture. In this picture, I'm just gonna do a standing up picture, kind of like from here to here. It was really, really easy. Honestly, inside pictures are the best, especially if they're in your room or whatever, which is probably like the easiest thing that I could possibly share with you guys. So lighting is everything and setting up your tripod or setting up a makeshift tripod is always good. Getting those shots from here to here is nice. Sometimes like you wanna get creative, you wanna like do a sit down one where you're sitting down on the couch or whatever. Same thing, make sure your lighting is good, set up your camera to record. Basically, video recording is taking a million pictures and syncing up audio together. So if you speed up your shutter frame on your camera, that means they're taking a lot more pictures, it's getting every single detail, every single movement, and such. <laughs> Just took this inside pic, I thought they were really cool, and here are the pics. So now you're getting to the point where you want to choose the pictures that you want when you're looking through the footage. Okay, so if you're using a phone to take pics, you can skip this step, but basically when I use my camera, I will boop in the SD card into my laptop and play back the footage. And while you're scrubbing through, you can actually screenshot your pictures by using the keys shift command four. And that's only for Mac users. I don't, I don't know if you can screenshot on any other computer, but that's just my Mac. So shift command four, which will let you actually crop out the screenshot 
of your desired pose. I like to airdrop my photos to myself and edit on my phone. And yeah, so that's basically what I do when I put in my SD card. For your phone, you can literally just play back the video and screenshot and start editing. Um, I use the Visco filter 06 for basically all of my picks, so <laughs> that's the T on that. And that's how I did it, and I challenge everyone to try it, especially if you have no friends like me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I challenge you guys to try to make a video like this. Try to get creative, freaking go off, get better than me, I don't know. This challenge was so hard. But honestly, the more I started doing it, the more I started taking pictures of myself, like I felt more confident in it. And sometimes you just don't have time to ask your friends or people or photography, photography studios or people, people who are doing photography are expensive. Like giving you guys tips on how to take pictures by yourself is just like the cherry on top of getting stuff done, especially if you're a procrastinator like me and I don't like to plan and I ask people whenever they're the busiest and I ask people like at 12 p.m. when they're probably eating and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I challenge you guys to try out these tips. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on Monday. I'm going to be posting Mondays and Fridays and I love you guys so much. Let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas for my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Talking bands, I got it. Benjamins in my pocket. I prayed in my truth for some robbers. And he's playing Batman. Fatty's gonna rob him. I got the Glock in my robbery. 17 shots, no 38. Yeah, I got the Glock.